Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Bam. Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess Granny. Today we're going to be doing the floating egg science experiment. All right, Granny, why don't you tell the kids what we need for this science experiment? Well, we need some spoons, we need an egg, a cup, some salt, water, and a measuring cup. Yep, that's all we need, and mm -hmm. you can find this all around your house, which makes it super easy. Yes. Okay, so this science experiment is going to teach us a little bit about density. Density. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off by adding some water into our cup. And we're going to start by adding it half full. And next, we're going to add the egg. But what do you think? Is it going to sink or float? Leave a comment down below. And I think... That's mm. both pretty heavy, but I think the egg might sink. Whoa! That's correct, Granny. The egg will sink to the bottom because it's more dense than the water. You knew that was going to happen? I knew it, but we're going to change things up a little bit. Oh, how? Well, we're going to use the salt and we're going to add it into the water. So, I'm just going to start by measuring one cup of salt in my measuring cup here. Make sure you ask the pan for help if you need it. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to use my spoon. I'm going to add some salt into my water and then I'm going to mix until the salt dissolves. That's going to be a very salty egg. It is, but the salt is going to change the density of the water. Hmm, it looks like the egg is still at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think I want to add some more salt. Yeah, I think we're going to need a lot more salt. Because okay. what we're trying to do is get the egg to float. Oh, we're not going to cook it and eat it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got some salt in here. And now I mix it. Okay, so we've put in a half a cup of yes. salt. And so, we've been mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay, now let's see if the egg's gonna float. <gasps> Did you see that? Whoa, Granny? Wait a minute. It's Whoa, definitely it keeps coming floating. back up. Yep, that means now the water with the salt is now more dense than the egg, and that's why it's floating. That's the coolest egg ever. Mm -hmm. But what else can we do with the egg? I want it to float just halfway. Oh, if you want it to float halfway, I say... We have to take some salt out of the water. Well, that would be kind of hard because the salt is dissolved in the I water, know. Granny. So what we can do is we can add more water to our cup. And we, if we add just the right amount, it should float right in the middle. Okay, let's add the water. Be careful! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! You see Whoa! that? Whoa! Okay. I think it's right in the middle now. <gasps> awesome! You are so smart. Well, I just try to study a lot, Granny. Granny studies a lot too. Yep, I read. Really I study my toys. <laughs> I guess. That is, there is a toy academy that you go to. Mm-hmm, I went there. Okay, so now, if we want the egg to float back to the top, what do you say we add? Do we add the salt or do we add water? Leave a comment below to let us know what the right answer is. I know, mm -hmm. I know, Granny knows. I know. Okay, Granny, what's the answer? We add more salt. That's correct. Whoa. We put this in and we stir, 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 stir. Let's see if it was enough. <gasps> Whoa! No, it's almost floating awesome. to the very top. Little bit more salt and stir, 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 stir. And are you ready mm -hmm. to see? <gasps> awesome! Whoa. Good job, Granny. Wow! That was a really fun science experiment to learn about density. But yeah. This is already the end of today's video. Mm -hmm. And if you like more science experiments, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, Prince and Princess. Bye. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princess.
and princesses, princess fam. Hi, prince and princesses, it's princess granny. Today we're gonna be doing the snow fluff science experiment. Okay, so let's check out everything we need for our science experiment. So we're gonna need a bowl, a measuring cup, we're gonna get some shaving cream, some cornstarch, and some food color. How do we start? Well, we're gonna start by measuring out one cup of cornstarch. Would you like to do it? Okay. One cup of cornstarch, she said. Ah. Ooh. We need to open this and ask an adult to help you. And then we gotta put one cup right in here. And now I'm gonna add one cup of cornstarch because I wanna make my own snow enough too. Whoa, okay, awesome. And now? And now we measure out one cup of this shaving cream. Oh. Okay, let's put it in. Whoa, it looks like snow already. Yeah, I think that's about a cup. And I'm gonna use my spoon to put it in. And now it's my turn. <laughs> Here you go. Whee! Whoa, Granny, you're really good at it. I know. Look, Whoa. Wow. <laughs> and now I put it in too. And the next step is okay, that you, you do, but you can also add food coloring if you want to make it colorful. Yes. But remember, Granny, what we're going to make? Snow? Snow, but who is made of snow? Santa? No. no. gonna keep our snow fluff white but if you yes. want to make it any other color now's the time to add it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our spoon to mix the two together and we're gonna mix until it looks like grated cheese how are you doing granny i'm doing good i'm doing Whoa. mix it mix it mix i it, think yours is it, definitely it, at the grated it, cheese mix it part. till it's done mm. Okay, so I now, so too. when you're at this point, you want to use your hands to mix it together, okay? Ah! So our hands are going to give it some moisture and hopefully get it to stick together more, but let's see, okay. Whoa, I am making such a huge mess, but this is so much fun because it's so soft and it's so fluffy. I'm making a snowball. I love it. You got a snowball. Look at my snowball. But wait, let me see. Let me test it. Oh, that's actually really good. Isn't it? It's like a real snowball. Pow! Yay! I think mine is a little bit too powdery, so it's not really sticking too well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more shaving cream to give it the texture that I want. Whoa, awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit and then I'm going to mix some more. Hmm, awesome. I think I'm getting one snowball here. Me too, I'm getting a really nice one. Mm -hmm. But Princess Fam, how come these two ingredients make like snow fluff? Well, it's actually quite simple. What yeah. happens is basically the shaving cream has lots of little bubbles. And because of those little bubbles, the cornstarch will float to the surface. And that's how it turns from nothing to snow. <laughs> okay, so me and Granny are all done making our three snowballs because Olaf has a head, a body, and a lower body, I guess. Yes. Okay, so I say we start on his face first. What do you think? Oh, yes, yes, let's make his face. Okay, so we actually got some M&Ms and some gumdrops because we're going to use those to make Olaf's eyes and Olaf's nose. You okay. want blue for his eyes? Sure. <gasps> You're going to give him blue eyes like Granny? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So I'm just gonna add one here and another one right here. And now we need his nose and we have some gumdrops. <gasps> oh, and I think his nose is orange, but I'm gonna take a red for Granny. Okay, let's put his orange nose right here. And next, we need Olaf's three hair. And I have just a thing. Where is it? It's right here, look. I got three little twigs from outside, so we're just gonna do one, and two, and three. 
I think I'm all done with the face. How about you put in the arms? Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got two little arms right here. And let's put one on this side. And the other one over here. Next, I'm going to use three bound M&Ms for his buttons. One, two, and three. And we're all done with our Olaf. What do you think about our Olaf? Leave a comment below to let us know. And look, it's snowing. Olaf loves snow. Granny loves snow too. So much fun, but this is the end of today's video. If you like more science experiments, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, friends and friends. Bye. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Fam. Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess Granny. Today, we're going to be making elephant toothpaste yeah. science experiment. All right, so let's go over what we need for our science experiment. So, we need some dish soap, we need some yeast, we need a graduated cylinder, we also need some food coloring, some measuring cups, oh, we're also going to need some water, and what do you got over there? I got potassium iodide. Mm -hmm. And you also have something over there. Oh, a big bottle. Oh, big, heavy bottle. I have crystal clear peroxide. Okay, so we're actually doing two different versions of the science experiment. We're gonna do a kid-friendly one, and we're gonna do a not-so-kid-friendly one. The adult one, because I'm the adult. So if you wanna do it like Granny, make sure you ask an adult to do it with you. So first, we need to take the 40% hydrogen peroxide and put 200 milliliters right in here. of our Dawn dish soap. So okay. squirt one, squirt two. And now I have to add 10 drops of food coloring. Mm -hmm. And we have purple, light pink, teal, green, hot pink, blue, red, orange, and yellow. And I think I am going with purple. What? Yes, I'm changing it up. Okay. So we need 10 drops. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you know what's next? I know what's next. How do you know? Because I've been studying dog, Granny. Uh, well, mm -hmm. what is next? You mix. How do you mix? You mix gently. That's right. Let's mix it gently. And <gasps> Whoa, look, it all turned purple. And now we have to add one cup of water to our little beaker. Mm -hmm. So we fill this up like this and add it in there. For this next step, I need to put some gloves on. Mm -hmm. And now we take our one tablespoon measuring spoon. We open our potassium iodide. And we will add one tablespoon of it to the water at first, like this. Add this in here, and we stir it, and we will keep adding more until it stops dissolving. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've added more and more. And as you can see on the bottom right here, it is not dissolving anymore. So mm -hmm. it means we're done. It means we're done. And do you know what the term is called when it's like that? Done? Yeah, we're not done. It means the solution is saturated. But yes, it's very saturated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time for the scientific experiment. All right, you ready, Granny? Yes, I'm so nervous. Okay. We're gonna take this mixture mm -hmm. and put it right in here. Yep. Oh no! You can do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Wow! Oh. Look at that. Oh. 
and oh my it goodness. turned green, but it keeps coming it and is. coming and oh. coming. Oh no, let me see the color. Oh no, no, no. Save right. everything. Whoa, oh, save this out. too. Oh, Granny, 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 it looks really, Whoa. really close. If you look really close, it's actually not falling down on the edges. It's kind of like holding <gasps> on. You see that? It is. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whoa, Granny, that was a really awesome reaction, but what's going on with the color? I thought yes. it was supposed to be purple. It's probably because of the blue dish soap. Ooh. It turned like a greenish, brownish, yellow, but it looks pretty awesome! So now for the kid friendly version, yes. we're going to be using... I would need some hydrogen peroxide, please. I'm going to make out right one out. half of a cup. Here you go. Thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. And then I'm gonna add some food coloring. Mm, and some pink, should I add some pink? No, I'm gonna add blue because I want my elephant toothpaste to be blue. <gasps> oh, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's very smart. And maybe you. I'm not gonna add 10. Maybe just five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we mix? Not yet. I'm actually going to add some dog dish soap. But in the kid friendly version, I'm only going to add in one squirt. So here we go. One squirt. And now we mix. Okay, so I'm going to mix, 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 mix. Gently, gently. Gentle. Don't worry, that's my specialty, Granny. I'm always gentle. Next, I'm going to add this package of yeast into my water. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there I have 20 milliliters of water and I'm adding this yeast into it. And then, once I'm all done adding that, I'm just going to take my mixer and I'm going to mix, mix, mix. All right, Granny, are you ready? I'm ready to see what yours looks like. All right, let's do it. Let's add it. <gasps> Whoa! Check it out, it's super foamy. <gasps> I love it. It really looks like toothpaste, Granny. And it blue. Does. And it came out so quick. Whoa, well, Granny, I have to say, I think the kid-friendly version actually looks more like toothpaste. It looks more like toothpaste. Version was much bigger. That's true. It was quicker. So, Princess Fam, how does this happen? Well, Granny, elephant toothpaste is actually a rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So, the potassium iodide or the yeast in warm water is the catalyst? Yep, that's right, Granny. Oh. And how rapid your reaction is depends on your hydrogen peroxide. <gasps> oh, wow! All right, this is the end of today's video. If you like more science experiments, give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, Prince and Princess. Bye! Bye! Bye.